Okay, it's the next day. It's either Wednesday or Thursday in YouTube land. Hi, how are you? I hope that it goes up on those days and if it doesn't, oh well, you're seeing a video that's about a week old because I'm going to be going to Texas and if I don't get it up before I go to Texas, if I don't get it up before I go to Texas, then it's going to, you know, be hanging around waiting for me to upload. I'm going to be talking to you about the scent and warmer of the month. I did not get the warmer of the month this month. There's only about twice a year, maybe three times a year that I don't get the warmer of the month. Since he puts out a warmer every single month that's dedicated to the theme of that month. And so usually around springtime, they put out summer warmers around the, at the end of summer, they put out the ones that are more art autumnal. In the autumn, they'll put out ones that are for Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas, but they do, you know, calendar holidays. This is the warmer of the month for August. So what you do is you take the top off and there's a dish in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a dish in there to put wax. And then the light bulb, which is a 25 watt bulb, warms this whole unit, not so much that you can't touch it, it's just warm, okay? And then it melts the wax, this way you don't need a candle. The whole idea of Scentsy is to not need candles, is to not have to put fire and danger into your home in order to fragrance, okay? So I did not get this one only because, and it's not because I don't like it, it's because how many warmers can I have? I My voice just cracked, I have so they're in every corner of my house. This is the scent of the month for um, August. Brain fart. It's called Harbor's Edge, and it's described as beach grass, flowering raspberry, and northern oak fern sway amid crashing waves, churning a surge of salty musk. First of all, we all love that surge of salty musk. Secondly, that is a hell of a description. <laughs> I've already smelled this, but now that I have a clear head because I actually have air conditioning blowing on my face. You see, not many people get my sense of humor. My, my sons do, which is bad. It's, it's not good when you're making sexual innuendo, inappropriate jokes with 12 and 14 year old boys, but that's my personality. I grew up in a house full of boys and now I have a house full of boys in there. All right. So I don't, I do not, I do not smell the raspberry. Um, that, and that's the first note that they put. I guess I kind of smell the raspberry. It's another, well, yes. Okay. So it's a berry scent. Eh, I, the fern is actually taking over everything. It's like a green berry scent. Salty musk. No. Th that might come out when you warm it. I don't smell musk. Fuck it. I'm going to I'm going to break it because sometimes the middle of the wax smells like it's real greek look at that look. Eh. Okay. That's more fruity on the inside. <laughs> uh. It's okay. It's okay, I'm not going to trash it because first of all, I haven't warmed it yet and that's really the test, okay? I am so like, I'm, I'm functioning like a lefty right now. I'm sorry to all the lefties out there, but I used to be married to one. Anyway, um, this is okay. I don't know if it's all that unique or special, Harbor's Edge, but it really does make a difference when you warm it. Um, I have had bad impressions about wax and then I warm it and it's like, damn, that kicked my ass and now I have a six pack of it waiting for me. So Harbor's Edge is very nice, raspberry and a surge of salty musk and some sort of fern. That's the, that's the wax there. And then you've got this warmer, which is called Portland. The wax is $5.40 in the month of August. It's not available until August 1st. The wax is $5.40 for a bar of wax because it's 10% off. This is 10% off for the month of August. So instead of it being $45, it's gonna be $40.50. You can also get this scent in Scent Circle and Room Spray. I'll tell you right now, that room spray is gonna kick ass in my cat's litter box. So other than me telling you in other videos that you can use the essential oils on your skin, which I'm not supposed to do, which you can, I am also gonna tell you that you can spray the room spray right onto your kitty litter 
it will make your scooping a better experience so it doesn't smell so bad and it will preserve your litter to last a little bit longer so that even after you've scooped it it doesn't smell like piss because sometimes if you have a lot of cats even if you have one cat and it's a small litter box and you get the scoop of a litter you're taking the 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 boulders out right and then the turds out this is disgusting but whatever it's not my turds and it's not my piss and eventually that litter does start to smell like urine even though you're taking those boulders out when you use room spray directly into the litter you rarely have to change out the litter 100 percent because of the smell now do you still need to change out the litter because of bacteria and cats peeing on the walls of the litter box oh this is disgusting eventually you'll have to change out the litter anyway and you'll have to clean out your litter box or you could just be like me and buy new ones because i'd rather spend 25 bucks on a new litter box than clean a litter box like actually wash it yeah i got four cats and two litter boxes in a 900 square foot apartment those things get some use <laughs> i'm not washing those and three of them are male cats so they spray anyway this is a disgusting video six minutes in so sorry uh at least i'm not sweating right there you go there's your scent of the month for august 2019 talk to you later bye